I'm like a big kid inside a CNC machine, not just any CNC machine. I'm inside the Ibarmia, the monster that we just brought in. Ooh, baby, let's go. Oh man, this is our 120 tool HSK 100 tool magazine and it keeps going. Like I'm inside the machine right now and this thing just goes straight up. The tools load through here. This is the magazine and they go into the machine right there. The spindle comes over, the tool goes into the spindle, boom, ready to murder some material and leave it in chips. Let's go check out the spindle. Ooh, Mikasa Sukasa. Check it out, we are inside the Ibarmia right now. Thousand millimeter pallet right here, which is uh, just over 39 inches. The X travel is about five feet. The swing is about five feet. This five axis machine is built for big parts. We gotta think about the spindle connection. Not just the spindle connection, but the power and the torque and all of it. Because when you have a massive part sitting up here, depending on the application, you're gonna have deep cavities and therefore you're gonna have long tool sticking in and milling at the bottom of this pocket. So your spindle connection has to be nice and big. The spindle needs to be an absolute beast. And to do that right here, we have the Kessler spindle. This thing is an absolute monster. Oh, and you see what we got right up there. We got the Harvey Ultra 8X from Kenametal. That tool is absolutely insane. All right, so now I'm actually gonna press this guy in and I'm actually gonna go up. So the spindle goes up at a 45, therefore I can come down and actually undercut. And then, and you know how you guys say like, like kiss the baby, like rough, 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 right? Uh, then come back and kiss mm, my baby. <laughs> Oh, so, so we're all the way down. Like if material was down, we can actually mill it like a three axis. But the cool thing is it comes on its side like a horizontal and then it goes all the way up at a 45. All right, so as I said, HSK 100 tool connection, which is great for this machine because we got big torque and we got big power. So a lot of you guys out there don't know what an HSK 100 is. It is a name for the spindle connection. And when I say spindle connection, I mean the spindle and where the tool, when the tool fits into the spindle, it's the connection that grabs the tool. Now an HSK 100 is nice and rigid. You also have an HSK 125, which is a step up. And then if you look at the videos from the 500 pound titanium octopus that I've been machining, and um, that guy right there is an HSK 63, so it'd be smaller, which is close to, not exact, but is close to a Cat 40. And then the HSK is similar to a Cat 50. Now the Cat 50, you have regular Cat 50s where the taper is up into the spindle taper, and it's a perfect match, and there's a pull stud that pulls it inside. One of the cool things about Doosan is Doosan actually has the 40 taper and the 50 taper and the HSK, but they have a dual contact, and then the flange actually comes tightly against that spindle, so that's the dual contact, the flange and the taper. Now, when you look at a tool like this, that you basically go all the way down, bury it in titanium, and just mow chips. You have to have a lot of power in the machine and the spindle to actually drive that tool. But as the RPMs come out of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, it goes from torque to power. And that's where I was talking about the 100 horsepower because right at about 4,000 RPMs, the horsepower just shoots up, boom, up to 100. And usually it might stay there for a little bit and then it just drops. But this machine is different. When it goes up, it actually from 4,000 to 5,000 to 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, it is consistent at 100 horsepower. And that gives you the flexibility to not only go through titanium and ink in and Monel and the craziest materials on the low end, but also to pop in some 7050 aluminum 70, 75, 60, 61, whatever you want. 
and just murder it. And that's one of the reasons that I'm excited about this machine right here. You got the Kessler spindle, you got the Ebarmia. This thing is rock solid. So when this 12,000 RPM spindle comes on, you're all torque on the lower end, meaning big tools, grinding crazy materials, needing that crazy torque. It's all right here. Oh man, I'm getting so excited. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell. It helps us out. Boom, until the next video, I'll see you guys later.